Boom, chicka boom. Boom, chicka boom. Hey, 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 boom, chicka boom. My name is Miss Vicky. Boom, chicka boom. I got some stories to tell. Boom, chicka boom. Some of them are new. Boom, chicka boom. And some you know so well. Boom, chicka boom. So listen up. Boom, chicka boom. And do your part. Boom, chicka boom. Cause all of my stories, boom, chicka boom, come straight from my heart. I said a boom, chicka boom. Let's go. Hello, my YouTube friends. I'm so glad you could come to my channel today. Today, the story that Miss Vicky is going to read to you is a thinking story. So I want you to think about this story as I tell it, okay? The name of this story is called The Rabbit Listened. The person who wrote this story, their name is Corey Dorfeld. One day, Taylor was building something. It was something new. It was something special. It was something amazing. And Taylor was so proud. Oh my goodness. Have you ever built something with blocks or with Legos and you looked at it and you were so proud of what you made? Well, that's how Taylor felt. But then out of nowhere, oh my gosh, look what happened. Would you look what those birds did? They did not respect what Taylor had made. All of his things came crashing down. Well, the chicken was the first one to notice. Clock, clock. What a shame. I'm so sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry that happened. Clock, clock, clock. Let's talk. Let's talk. Wanna talk? Wanna talk? Let's talk about it. Clock, clock, clock. But Taylor didn't feel like talking. So, the chicken left. Next came the bear. Grow! Grow! How horrible! I bet you feel so angry! Let's shout! Let's shout about it. Are you ready? <gasps> but Taylor didn't feel like shouting. And since Taylor didn't feel like shouting, the bear went away. The elephant knew just what to do. I can fix this. We just need to remember exactly the way things were. Come on now, do you remember how things were? But Taylor didn't feel like remembering. So, the elephant left also. One by one, they came. The hyena said, <laughs> Let's laugh about it. <laughs> Let's laugh about it, said the hyena. The ostrich came. Um, 
let's hide and let's just pretend that uh, nothing happened. The kangaroo came. <laughs> well, test, test, test. What a mess. What a mess. Let's just, oh my gosh, it's such a mess. Let's just throw it all away. And the snake said, Let's go and knock down <laughs> somebody else's. What do you think? But Taylor didn't feel like doing anything with anybody. So eventually, they all left until Taylor was all alone. Oh, how do you guys think that Taylor is feeling? How would you feel if this happened to you? Well, in the quiet, Taylor didn't even notice the rabbit. But it moved closer and closer until hmm, Taylor could feel the rabbit's warm body. The rabbit was right next to him. Together, they sat in silence until Taylor said, um, would you please stay with me? And you know what, boys and girls? The rabbit listened. The rabbit listened as Taylor talked. The rabbit listened and Taylor felt like shouting, ah! The rabbit listened as Taylor remembered <laughs> and laughed. The rabbit listened to Taylor's plan to hide to throw everything away. And Taylor even thought about ruining something for everybody else. Through it all, the rabbit never left. And when the time was right, the rabbit listened to Taylor's plan to build it again. Um, I can't wait, Taylor said. It's going to be amazing. What did you think about that story? You know, sometimes when you're sad or mad, people want to help you and talk to you, but sometimes you don't feel like talking. All you want is for someone to listen to you. So Ms. Vicki hopes that you remember that with your friends. Sometimes you might want to talk to them and sometimes they just might want you to listen, okay? I'll see you next time. Don't forget to listen. Bye-bye now.